Welcome back to Elizabeth Eats. Today we're making one of my favorite meal prep lunches. It's a hybrid between a tuna salad and a garbanzo bean salad. You can make it on a Sunday and have it for lunch for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or if you're making lunch for a lot of people, this is also great. So I love adding the garbanzo beans to my tuna salad because it adds a lot of fiber. I like to eat mine with like some crackers and some celery, but you could make this into a sandwich. You could put it in a wrap. There's so many different options here. So I will start with some shallot. So because we're using the food processor, I'm actually gonna cut this into pretty big chunks. I love celery in my tuna salad and garbanzo bean salad. I'm going to go for two stalks of celery, which is a lot. Some people might just want one but I'll remove the big ends. Let's get those in there. Let's do the tuna. This is tuna, albacore tuna packed in water. Let's drain this. But I've got one five ounce can of tuna. I'm also going to add one 15 ounce can of drained and rinsed garbanzo beans. So I've got my garbanzo beans here already drained and rinsed from another can. And then we're gonna add, this is really simple, some mayonnaise. I like veganaise. I know that's strange, this is not a vegan recipe. I keep veganaise around. But if you have a favorite mayonnaise that you like, that you would normally put in tuna salad, use whatever that is. Two tablespoons of that. An old school flavor in tuna salad is pickle relish. I'm using sweet pickle relish. I'm gonna do a teaspoon. I like to add a little bit of lemon. I would say two teaspoons of lemon juice. That's about half of a small to medium lemon. And then this is optional. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of dill. This is some fresh dill. All right, let's add about a half a teaspoon of salt and you can adjust this. It kind of depends on what your tuna tastes like. And about a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Let's pop the top on the food processor. And I'm just gonna pulse this. I wanna maintain a lot of the texture of the garbanzo beans. I don't wanna like over puree this. You might have to push all of your ingredients down. This can of tuna really wants to be broken up a little bit. So, so this makes four servings. You can really easily double this recipe, of course, if you've got more people that you're meal prepping for. Let me get a bit of taste just to adjust the salt. Mm, this is so good. So the way I would pack it is I would take this little glass container. I love it with these almond flour crackers. You can eat it with anything you prefer. Take a fourth of it as a serving, put it right on this side. You could put this on top of some greens to make a really nice salad. And then I would also chop up another thing of celery. So it also makes a great vessel for the tuna salad. So put the celery right in, kind of holds the crackers back a little bit. And then I would just pack up four of these and I've got lunch for the next four days, three or four days. This is just a really great thing to make a lunch at home knowing that you are treating your health well, you're treating your budget well, and it's also really delicious. My dog is here waiting for something. I think I might need to go get her a treat. Thank you for being here for a few minutes. If you like this video and if you like maple, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week.